Good afternoon. Um, we're going to start today doing more time value money calculations and problems. And so what I need you to do is go to these supplemental materials that came with your book. In there are the time value money tables on page 19 to 22, and you pull those out. And under supplemental materials, we're going to be on page 15. Um, the heading there is in class review. And so we're going to walk through how to do this problem. Um, I'll read it out loud, and then we will kind of go through the process to how to figure this out. So in class review, page 15. Your uncle Scooter wants you to invest in his pie shop. He wants only $15,000 and will pay you back in eight years. Knowing the wheels fell off his last venture, you demand 14%. Right? Why are we demanding such a high interest rate? Because the wheels fell off his last venture, he's got a bad track record, he's got bad credit history probably, so therefore we need a higher rate of return. How much does Uncle Scooter need to pay you in eight years? So we had talked a little bit before about making this box, present value, future value, K, N. K stands for interest rate, N is the number of periods. So if we go back to this question, he wants to open his pie shop, he wants only $15,000, so he wants the $15,000 today. So I'm going to place $15,000 here under present value because presently he wants 15000 He wants to pay you back in eight years, so N is eight, and since the wheels fell off his last venture, K equals 14. And then the question is, how much does he need to pay you back in eight years? So that's clearly future value. How much in the future does he need to pay you back? Then we get to one of the table questions also. Is this what we call an annuity, which we went over earlier, um, or is this a lump sum? An annuity is a string of payments. So if this is an annuity, then Uncle Scooter wants $15,000 each and every year. Right? That's not what the question says. It says he wants $15,000, so that's a one payment. If it was several payments, it would say he wants only $15,000 each year, or he wants $15,000 every year. It's a one-time payment, so we're going to use future value of a dollar. We're going to look that up. Future value of a dollar, slide across the top, k equals 14, down to an n of 8, and we look up that factor. And that factor we see is 2.8526. Oops. 2.8526. And then we're going to multiply $15,000 times 2.8526 to get an answer of $42,789 is how much Uncle Scooter needs to pay you back. Question two, Uncle Scooter says you have a screw loose, but will give you $11,000 in eight years. What is the present value of the offer? So first, this certainly is just like family, where family's going to borrow $15,000 and offer you $11,000. So we know that he wants $15,000 he would have to pay us 42738 If he's going to give us $11,000 in the future, that's way out here in the future, so $11,000 goes under future value. And he's not giving us $11,000 each year or $11,000 every year, just one-time payment. It's eight years from now, so n is still eight, k is still 14. What is the present value of the offer? So we are going to discount this back using present value 
of a dollar if he was going to give us eleven thousand dollars each year and i want to know what it was worth i'd be using present value of an annuity but he's not he's just giving us one payment so we look up present value of a dollar slide across the top k equals fourteen bottom n equals eight we get a factor of point three five zero six multiply that by eleven thousand and we get a present value of three thousand eight hundred and fifty six dollars and sixty cents so the question comes up then do you want to do this deal do you want to trade fifteen thousand dollars cash today for eleven thousand dollars eight years from now that today is only worth thirty eight hundred dollars um, the answer to that is obviously no. You're not going to trade $15,000 cash for some future amount that today is only worth $38.56. So question three. You explain present value to your Uncle Scooter, who is perplexed. Not uncommon for Scooter. Scooter adds two pies a week to the $11,000 deal. The pies are worth $10.50, and you want the pies. What's the new present value with k equals 14? All right, so what we're doing here in financial terms is we're adding a sweetener to the deal. A sweetener to the deal is when one party manufactures a product or provides a service that the other side wants. And so here in question three, it says clearly the pies are worth 1050 each and you want the pies. If, if this was 27 tons of manure, you probably wouldn't want it unless you're a farmer, and then you really, really would want it um, because you could use it and it has value. We also, if you note here, the pies are worth $10.50. We don't care necessarily what the sales price is. If Uncle Scooter sells these pies for $15 each, you don't think they're worth $15, you don't use $15. All right, so how are we going to do this? Well, first, he's adding the value. So we have this $11,000 deal that's worth $3,856. Now we got to figure out how much these pies are worth. The first thing that we're going to do is take two pies a week times 52 weeks times $10.50 equals 1092 All right. So Uncle Scooter says he's going to give us basically $1,092 worth of pies. He's going to give them to us each week. And so this is basically an annuity of pies. So a whole bunch of pies coming to us. We're going to get pies this year, a year from now, two years from now, three years from now, four years from now. So we know this is an annuity. So a lot of times we put these kind of hash marks here so we know it's an annuity. We're going to be receiving 1092 of pies. And so the question then is, do we take this value of pies and move them out into the future to see what they're worth in the future, or do we discount the pies back to today? Most of the time, you're going to end up discounting back to today when you're looking at various investment decisions. When does Scooter want his $15,000? He wants his $15,000 today. I know what $15,000 today is worth. It's worth $15,000. I don't know what the pies are worth. If I take the pies out in the future, then I have this value eight years from now, but that doesn't give me that much information because I'm making my decision today. So I am going to discount back to today 
using present value of an annuity. Present value of annuity, K equals 14, N equals 8. I'm going to look that up on the chart, and that is 4.6389 times 1,092 gets us a value of the pies of 5,065. So in this deal, we're getting the pies and the $11,000 eight years from now. The $11,000 eight years from now is worth 3,856. I am adding the value of my pies, 5,065. We add that together and we get a total value of 8,000 922 plus some change. Not that really big deal about the change. And so the question here is, do we want to do this deal? And now the deal is still no. We do not want to do this deal because I'm not going to trade $15,000 for $11,000 in the future worth $3,800 today plus a whole bunch of pies that's worth, that's worth $5,065 for a total value of 8,922, we'd be losing money. So on to question four. Scooter takes on a part-time finance instructor who is smart and good looking. Because of this, you reduce your return requirement from 14% to 10%. Use the needed data from question three and determine its value. So what's happened here is that Scooter's taken on a partner, and we can kind of make the assumption that Uncle Scooter here is a baker, but his last thing fell apart, so he's probably not good on the numbers. So the company got safer because we have Scooter as a baker and someone else who's going to run all the numbers. Now, if I opened up a pie shop, and it'd probably be incredibly risky because I don't know how to bake. If I go grab a new partner who is maybe one of our accounting professors who is really, really good at numbers, the business isn't going to be any safer because we're just duplicating almost all of our skills and we still don't have a baker. And so hopefully what's happened here is we've rounded this out, made the company safer, so we're going to change the discount rate from 14% to 10%. And we're going to then end up recalculating everything. Okay, so just kind of erased everything. We have our original $11,000 that Scooter promised to give us, and we want to know that what that's worth today using present value of a dollar. Um, we have the pies that are $1,092, and we have an annuity of pies, so present value of an annuity. And we've got K equals 10 now, and N equals 8. And so everything has stayed the same in our problem, except the interest rate has fallen. And, and when interest rates fall, when you're discounting, the value is going to come up. So before I start this calculation, I know for sure my value is going to be greater than $8,922. So we multiply this across using our uh, new factors. So we look that up, and we're going to multiply that by 4665. And going to multiply by 5.3349. So the only things here that have changed in this entire equation now are these factors because the interest rates changed. So $11,000 times present value in K equals 10, N equals 8 is 0.4665. And we're going to get a total value of that of 5000 131 
and then present value of an annuity. K equals 10, N equals 8, times 5.3349 equals 5,825. We add that up to get a new value of 10,957, or 58, depending on uh, how you round it. So the question then comes, are we going to go ahead and do this deal now? Now that it's safer and a better investment, uh, we're getting a bunch of pies. The answer is still no. And the reason it's no is I'm not going to give $15,000 today for $11,000 in the future that's going to be worth $51,31 and then a bunch of pies that are worth $5,825 because I still have a value of only $10,957. If I do this deal, I am going to financially lose about $4,000. And this brings in kind of an overriding philosophical point when you're trying to work out finance deals. A lot of times people put in hours upon hours upon hours to make a deal work. And sometimes they just don't work. This just does not work. Um, any business that's looking to borrow $15,000, but yet can only pay you back $11,000 eight years from now, structurally, you're just not going to be able to make that thing work. Even if we made it safer by picking up a partner, even if they give us a bunch of pies or something like that or something else of value, this would be a deal that no matter how hard we worked, and we worked hard trying to pull this off, this is a no deal. We would not invest in this pie shop.